Imagine you run a hotel okay. with an infinite number of rooms, and each of these rooms has a guest staying in it. Require infinite energy, so an infinite number of nuclear plants, or a nuclear plant with unlimited power. But then, one more shows up asking for a room. Now, you Infinity might think there's one. no space, but your hotel has infinite rooms. So you just have to ask the guest in room one to move to room two. Then room two moves to room three, repeating all the way to infinity. Man, in engineering projects, even shifting around a thousand people can be a headache. Scaling to infinite would be impossible because again, the energy requirement grows without bound. Now you have an available room for the new guest. Sure, theoretically. But what happens when a bus pulls up and it has an infinite amount of passengers? Super bus. You would need more than just one empty room. So to make sure you have enough space, <laughs> All right, so a bus with infinite mass. Well, that would collapse into a black hole, and then what's left of the bus would become the room, because nothing's escaping that. You ask every guest already in the hotel to double their room number. The people in room one go to room two, and room two goes to room four, room three to room six, all the way to infinity. Again, mathematically makes sense on paper, but you're not seeing this happen. Now, all the odd number rooms are empty. One, three, five, seven, and so on. And since there are infinite odd numbers, you can fit every person from the bus. And this is possible because infinity isn't just big, it bends logic. Make Though... In order to communicate that out, you're also going to need infinite signal strength. But yes, as a thought experiment, this works, but physics and engineering really don't like infinity.